Ladies and gentlemen, EA have just announced four new icons slash legend cards for FIFA 18 and today we're going to take a look at what ones are new, what potential ratings they might be and of course the one that has already been announced. So we aren't going to mess about, we are just going to jump straight into it. You guys are here for the good juicy news. So let's just jump straight in and take a look at who the first brand new icon will be. That's right, the first new legend is the joint player of the century with none other than Pele, Diego Maradona. The man who carried Argentina to a World Cup, the man who won umpteen titles with Barcelona, Napoli and loads of other clubs. He is the first legend icon, whatever you want to call them of course because they are now on PlayStation as well. We've got a whole new system, they're now blue and they're now called icons. Diego Maradona will be in FIFA 18. Let me know down in the comment section what rating you think he is going to be. I personally, going on the fact that him and Pele became joint holders of the player of the century from FIFA, that can only make me think that they're going to be the same rating. And as Pele is already in FIFA 17, that rating is probably going to be 95. A 95 rated Diego Maradona in FIFA 18 will be absolutely crazy and so, so expensive as well but he looks absolutely sick. It's gonna be so, so good. And without further ado, let's just find out new icon number two. What a sound. Number two, if you guys know who that was, is Lev Yashin. He is widely regarded as the greatest goalkeeper of all time. He is from Russia. He played his whole career in the Russian league and of course for the Soviet Russian national team. And he's actually the only goalkeeper ever to win the Ballon d'Or, which is pretty bloody crazy. So I'll be honest, I didn't actually know who this guy was when I first seen him in the trailer because he played his football in 1950 to 1970. So I wasn't born for another 23 years when he retired. He died as well before I was born as well. So that's why I have never heard of him. But he is widely regarded as the greatest goalkeeper ever, which leads me to think, let me know what you guys think. If Peter Schmeichel is 90 rated, Schmeichel is also regarded as one of the greatest goalkeepers ever. People might argue that Oliver Kahn is better than Schmeichel. So then maybe you'll put Kahn at 91 and this Yashin guy at 92 rated. Could we have a 92 rated icon goalkeeper? in FIFA 18. Like I said, I'll be honest, I didn't particularly know who he was until I Googled him, but apparently he's the best goalkeeper that ever lived. So hopefully he can live up to that on FIFA 18. And once again, without further ado, let's find out another new icon. Thierry Henry, there he is. Very short clips from the new trailer. It's only a very, very short trailer, but the next confirmed icon is Arsenal's Invincibles just stand out hero, key player, star man, whatever you want to call it, Thierry Henry. There was rumours because he of course was in the trailer for the journey and now it is 100% confirmed Thierry Henry will be an icon on FIFA 18. And again, that begs the question, what will be his rating? So we're saying Maradona's going in at 95, we're saying Yashin at 92. Taking a look at the other Arsenal Invincibles, we've got Vieira at 88, which I think is criminally underrated. We've got Dennis Bergkamp is a 90, which Henri was the star. Like when Henri got the ball, every other team just crapped themselves. So surely he's got to be at least one rating higher than Bergkamp, which would give us a 91 rated Thierry Henry. That card is gonna be absolute madness. So that just leaves us then with one more that we don't already know about. We of course already know about R9 Ronaldo, which will leave the end. You guys can see the rest of the trailer and like the all of them walking out together and stuff like that. It's really, really cool. Make sure you stick around. But next, we've got a new icon. And this one is a little bit of a tease or a little bit of a cheat from EA. It does give us some very, very important information. No, but it also at the same time is kind of cheating. Just, just roll the clip and you guys will see what I mean. It is, of course, none other than Pele, the man who we were talking about with Maradona, the man who was already in FIFA 17, is apparently a new icon for FIFA 18. I mean, technically, he said a newly revealed icon, so of course, it is revealed that now he is newly confirmed that he is definitely in FIFA 18, but it's a little bit of a sneaky one from EA. But still, that maybe gives us a bit of information that not every legend that is currently a legend will be an icon in FIFA 18. Now, I thought of it 
it maybe gives them a bit more leeway to make other players icons. Maybe players a little bit more like the Donovans and the Lalasses and stuff like that, where their icons for their clubs are maybe a Tim Kale because he's an icon for Australia, but he's not really a legend in the same sense as Maradona and Pele. That's the route I thought you were going down because we've changed it from legends to icons, but maybe it's going to be a different route if they're putting Pele in, if they're like announcing that Pele is going to be in. Maybe they're going to bin off all of the lowly rated legends and just have mad ones. I'm not so sure. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. But with Pele's rating, it's pretty easy. I'm pretty sure he's just still going to be 95 unless they totally revamp the whole system. So going in with a 95 rated Pele. And then of course just leaves one left, the one we already know about. He was announced with the new icons feature. So let's just finish off the trailer. You guys can take a look and then we'll come back and round out this video. There we go, that is all five that we now know, and we got the release date of FIFA as well, the 29th of September. I'm not sure if that was already available somewhere on the internet, but that one is 100% confirmed. 29th of September, FIFA will be coming out. You can play it early as well if you buy that icon edition, and I think EA Access gives you five days early too, unless they've stopped that, so that's pretty bloody sick. Get our hands on these. I'm pretty sure as well you can get your hands on a lone Ronaldo if you pre-order on nine Ronaldo and normal Ronaldo. You get both of them, which is pretty bloody crazy. Imagining them two up front with Maradona and Pele in behind, yashing in goal, Henri up front. As, oh my God, I just can't even know. That's too much. The icons are too crazy. I'm very excited to just play them, pack them, hopefully, but you know what my pack, pack look is like. But that is where we're going to leave it. Just a quick news video to show you guys what was going on. I hope you're as excited for this as I am. If you are, smash that like button. Let me know the ratings down in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Squad Builder Showdown. Today, we are joined by none other than Reeve and none other than Team of the Season, Neymar da Silva Santos Jr. Yes, mate. I'm very familiar with this guy. Especially the one on my screen, because he's the pride of my club. First owner 